Hello guys, welcome to Coders Digest and in today's video we will see how we can download and install Anaconda. So first of all you may ask this what is Anaconda. So Anaconda is basically a distribution for R and Python languages which are used for scientific computing or you can say the data science. So in today's video we are going to install individual edition. You can see that it comes with multiple other editions also like this is the commercial one. This is the team edition, this is enterprise and this is professional services. So you can go ahead and have a look. But for our development, I will simply go for individual edition. So you should click here. Now, uh, this is basically uh, a product spec uh, page here for Anaconda. And if you scroll down, then you can see that here you can figure out that there are two installers. One is 64 bit and another is 32 bit. Now you may ask that which one should I install? So uh, basically that depends on your system configuration. So let me show you how you can decide that. So for that you should go to your desktop, click on your computer and here you need to check on this thing like uh, the system type. So if you see my system is 64 bit and if your here is showing 32 bit then you should install 32 bits one. Okay. So since I have a 64 bit system, I will click on this link that says that uh, 64 bit graphical in installer and the size is 457 MB. So now it has started downloading. So my setup has been downloaded. I will click on it and it will open the wizard for me to install it. Okay. So you can see that now it is loading the wizard and I will click next. So I will accept the terms and you can uh, simply provide just me or all users. I will simply go with just me. I will accept the default path and I will simply I will not check this add Anaconda 3 to my environment variable. I will now install it. All right. So you can see that my Anaconda installation has been completed successfully. I have got a completed message now. So I will click next. And actually my Anaconda 3.2 and Anaconda 3 then the version is 2020.11 has been installed successfully. I will click next and I will click finish. Okay. So if you want, you can uncheck these DJS options getting started with Anaconda. It will open a tutorial pages for you. So I don't want that. And now my Anaconda is successfully installed. So how can we check that? Let me go to Anaconda. And you can see that I have here Anaconda Navigator. Let me click on it. So it has opened me this uh, this uh, window where I can see multiple options. I have R Studio, I have PyCharm, I have Visual Record, and a lot of other options. So for now, I will just simply go and click on Launch on the Jupyter Lab. So you can see that it will now open me an instance of Jupyter Lab. Similarly, if you want, you can go and click on Jupyter Notebook also. So whatever be your choice you would like to uh, run your programs into, you can just go and open it. So now uh, you can see that it has opened me a Jupyter Lab environment. So it is running now. You can see the Jupyter logo and it might take a while to get it set up and you can see that here it is. Okay. So if you want, you can just go and create a new folder, a new Python file. And let us say that I will simply write some file or you can write whatever code you want. All right. So this is basically a simple uh, Python notebook. And this is the way I am demonstrating you can create and use your Jupyter uh, notebook or Jupyter lab. So this is all about this video. We have seen how we can download and install Anaconda, how we can install or launch Jupyter notebook and other options. So thank you very much for watching this video and if you find this video helpful please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel and i will see you in another video thank you very much